Hi friends, it's Elizabeth with Wandering Soul Enterprises. I'm here to bring you a special message. Uh, I felt like I needed to do a reading with my Sailor Jerry cards today. Um, hoping to get some, maybe some clarity and some guidance on some of the events that have been happening in our country over the past week, two months, four years, however you want to uh, think of it, I guess, um, here in the U.S. Um, and I'm, I'm not quite sure exactly what's going to come through, but I just felt like I needed to do this, so... messages do you want to share with us? Hmm. Okay, we've got the Six of Pentacles. And that's funny because when I was thinking about this reading, that was the one card that like popped into my mind. We also have the Ace of Hearts. and the Ace of Swords. That's interesting. Yeah, so the, the Six of um, Pentacles is about giving and receiving equal energy exchange. And, you know, Sailor Jerry was, a, I, think, I believe, a libertarian, very opposed to socialism, so I think that that's part of what he's saying here is that, you know, we, there, there's, it's important that we have equal give and take in our economic systems and in our, our governmental systems as well. Okay. Still supports uh, democracy. You know, Sailor Jerry went to... Uh, well, he was in the Navy during the 1930s, living in Hawaii in 1941 when the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. And he was furious and wanted to join the war, re-enlist in the Navy, but they wouldn't let him because I guess he was pretty old by then. Um, and uh, he ended up joining the Merchant Marines, which I don't know too much about them, but I, I know I read that he joined the Merchant Marines. You know, and, and that, that war was a war against fascism, against Nazis. And uh, what we saw here in the U.S. last week was a bunch of fascists trying to overtake our government. Our, and, and these are Americans, American fascists trying to take over the American government, trying to overturn the will of the people. And what's, what's really messed up is that 
there are a lot of readers here in the YouTube tarot card reading community who supported QAnon. They promote QAnon on their channel. They, they support this whole theory of the Pleiadians, the, the Aryan aliens who are here to save us from the reptilians, the descendants of the Anunnaki, the Semitic gods of the Babylonians. But we're not all like that. I'm definitely not one of them. So then we also have the Ace of Cups. It's about unconditional love. <laughs> Nikita wants to join in on this too. So, I guess the next thing that that they want to tell us, I don't know if it's actually Sailor Jerry talking or not, but I always feel like it's his energy coming through when I'm reading this deck. Okay, Nikita, get down, 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 get down. Move, 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 move. Okay. So the next thing he wanted to say was that um, it's an important time for us to all unconditionally love each other you know there's a lot of disagreement I know that out of my parents and my siblings I'm the only person who's not a Trump supporter so I'm struggling with that myself right now like realizing that they had their reasons for voting the way they did. I, I've reached out to them. I don't think that they're fascist from what I can tell, at least most of them. <laughs> um, but uh, I guess the, the, the main thing is we need to, to realize that there's reasons that people feel the way they do and you've got to understand where they're coming from um and to act from love not from fear not from hate and then we also have the ace of swords which is about the truth. And that's what we all need right now, the truth. Okay, Venus. The nine of clubs, boundaries, setting healthy boundaries. respect, having fortified boundaries that won't fall to an angry mob. Six of swords, moving forward to calmer waters, not looking back. Three of Cups, reunion, celebration, coming together again, ending this time of isolation. How do we get, to, how do we get there, Sailor Jerry? Okay. 
We've got the Ten of Clubs, taking responsibility. And I think beyond just taking responsibility for our own actions, this also means holding others accountable for their actions. It ties in with that nine of, of clubs to set boundaries for respect. Anything else? How do we get to a better place? We've got four of hearts, four of cups. I kind of get the feeling this is just like kind of taking a break in a way, um, giving people some space. I definitely feel like I need to give some of my family members some space. And I'm saying this because I'm hoping whoever is finding this message will will somehow find this applicable to your life as well. You know, it's not just me sitting here talking about my own life. Um, but yeah, I, th I think that there's a need for us to give people space, especially if we have people in our lives who were um, strong supporters of Trump and have been just totally blindsided by the events that have unfolded since January 1st or, you know, since basically blindsided by the events that unfolded at the Capitol on January 6th. Um, I can imagine that that would take some time to process if you were a supporter of Trump and his policies and not aware that a large number of his other supporters were neo-Nazis, fascist, and uh, QAnon people. But on the other hand, I don't know how you couldn't be aware of that after all the things that have happened and the Unite the Right rally and all of that. So, I imagine it takes some time to process that. To figure out where you stand. And, uh, I think it's, it's uh, good for us to give each other some space to do some soul searching before we can get to this point where, uh, we can be in union again with each other. We've got Ten of Cups focusing on happiness, family, the things that unite us. Okay. And then it's interesting because these both fell on the floor. <laughs> We've got the Eight of Swords and Nine of Swords. So this is telling me, you know, this one landed on the table. Ten of Cups landed on the table. And the Eight and Nine of Swords landed on the floor. So to me, that's, that's telling me, don't get trapped in your negative thoughts. Don't ruminate. Don't get trapped in negative thoughts. Don't get stuck in a victim mentality. Focus on happiness. Right, I think I'm gonna end it there, guys. I think that's all he really had to say. <laughs> and I, I don't know if any of Sailor Jerry's, Norman Collins friends or relatives ever happened to see this. Um, like I said, I don't know if it's really him coming through or 
if that's just my imagination, you know, but I definitely do feel a special connection with this particular deck. It's kind of got this energy. I felt really drawn to it as I was seeking solace and comfort from everything that's happened. I always get this really warm, sort of like a, a grandfather energy from, from Sailor Jerry. But at the same time, you know, he's, he stands his ground. He, he gets angry when it's time to get angry. Um, so I feel like it's his personality coming through, but I don't know. Okay. Well, um, thank you all for tuning in. I hope you have a, a good day and, um, I'm praying for peace.